Hello everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic and this is really fantastic because I know you are going to love it. Okay, so before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into rolling our intro. <laughs> Alright, so if I get it clear, the reason why you click on this video is because you want to learn how to design um, a cool YouTube cover at and this can be for a client or yourself or whosoever. So yes, I understand and I'm going to teach you exactly that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is to click on create a design. Okay, and um, the first thing I started doing was to search for YouTube. Okay, and um, I saw all of these things. So um, we are going to use the YouTube channel art, which is 2560 by 1440 pixels. So just click on that. And um, it's really funny with this dimension because the time I was creating my thumbnail, so not my thumbnail, but my cover art, even though this dimension was recommended, um, you know, for the desktop and tablet use and stuff like that, just a little bit of dimension like this will be taken so it means that most of your design should take this something like this okay so don't worry if um, you finish and you're uploading and you realize that it's looking big and stuff all you need to do is to be reducing the size and yeah that's what i did so i was able to get there so yes you're not going to spend any much time and this is very simple you can use it for any channel at all you have okay so before we get started the first thing i'm going to do is to add an image to my background okay so i'll go into photos and um, i will search for um this is going to be like um, a generic youtube um cover art okay so i'll just search for something like nature something like that yeah. then i will you know, find something cool so i think this would go and it also depends on the mood you are trying to send out okay so just make sure that with any image you're using you are using something that um, communicates with your channel okay so yeah um i'll go into effect okay not effect is it adjust rather and i'm going to blur this out okay so yeah even though we have an image but i'm just going to blur it out and i add a rectangle by pressing r on my keyboard okay and i'm going to use my brand colors but this doesn't stop you from using yours you can still use your brand color so i can start with the blue okay and i come to transparency and reduce this um reduce the transparency level <laughs> i was allowed to say reduce the size but you know we don't reduce sizes of transparency so you hear the chicken that's what happens every time this time around i'm not going to be pausing and waiting for them to finish doing what they do i'll just continue talking too so yes i would um reduce the level of the transparency to somewhere like 45 okay 45 and uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to go into element and in my element i'm going to the shape section and click on my circle come into frames click on this you know we are doing some sort of shopping and stuff like that and i go back into shapes but this time around i go into the c or okay then i scroll down so i find this tube over here so yes and um yeah pretty much these are the things we need at the moment okay so first of all i will reduce the size of my frame to make it fit nicely and um yeah select the two and i reduce and with the shape i have behind I can change the color to white okay or I can change it to yellow depending on what I want then I reposition my frame okay then I can maybe the next thing I can even do is even with the um, you know the circle I have I can make another one and make it white okay but with this one I increase the size a little bit and um, I uh, what did I just do? Okay, so I select these two and bring them to the front and I position them right on top. Okay, so we have this So I can position this here 
and I can select this tube and rotate the size okay and I reduce it and stretch I hope you got it I hope I didn't confuse you or something like that okay so I just duplicated so to duplicate click and you click on this duplicate and it just creates a copy of whatever thing you want to duplicate okay so I just do that and I position it this way okay and I select the two and I can group and change the color to something like you know gray or white or anything at all I want okay but since this is um, white I wouldn't really see the effect so I'll make it like gray okay yeah so like this and I would select it and now note group and click on position then select middle and center okay and we just select it and send it to the bottom a little bit select our text and also move it down but we would bring our text to the front so we right click on the text and bring to front and i can okay then i will group all of these circles i'll group them position them okay it's already on the center so yes that's fine so this is what we have at the moment and um what else can we do I would highly recommend and um, the first thing we do is to add this okay but this is just going to be like design sort of okay so we change the color to the same thing and reduce the transparency so we can put it somewhere here and send it backward and send backward again okay and I click on position and center it let me reduce this um, thing yeah so this is what i have at the moment and i would select text you know just to add some text so i press t on my keyboard for text and i position it down here and i select all and type my name so benjamin um let's say benjamin you know or something like that let me just do benitesh then touch then click come here open sans whatever then you can select any text you want to use but i would always recommend that anything you use should um should drive the feeling you are expecting or you know to drive the kind of feeling your channel aims at sending to people if i make sense you can give me a like okay yeah so i position my text here then i come into elements search for facebook and i select my facebook reduce the size and i can position it here okay and with the white things in there i can change it to this so that i guess to look interesting i can change this to white you know to have it like this and still like I'm, I'm i'm saying it really depends on what you want to do okay so i put facebook here and um, what i can do is i can press c again on my keyboard and i can maybe change the color to not the color but the font the typeface to monsoon classic okay and i add my username so i can see my username is brand new and then just use my normal so african geeks okay then i reduce the size and you know position it here so this is what we have at the moment then i can select not even to select the two let me add instagram because these are the social platforms i use um a lot okay so i add instagram Okay, and I can position it here and change the color to white. And the username is also the same, so I can just duplicate this and bring it here. So this is what we actually have. And maybe what we can do is I can put the icons here. Okay, and the usernames can, can just go after it okay, so this one comes before and this one comes after you know just 
something cool then i search for my image so um, i'm going to photos you know upload rather and um, i'll just search for an image that fits i'm just going to use um, a stock image so i'll use this image just to show that to me or something like that okay and you can see let's say i wanted to really depict um to pick colors from this um photo okay maybe those are my brand colors and i want to use them for my um my cover art what i can do is i can just add the image so the canva picks colors from there select this go into colors and i can maybe select this color and select this color okay and with the text i can use maybe the red no the red is not good it's not good at all i can use just the white okay so the facebook i can um you know come in there and um, use maybe the white and the the color of the f can take you know the same color of the two we have behind okay so this is what we have at the moment and you can see how it's looking so with the instagram there's nothing really much you can do but with the um shape behind you can also change the color okay and you can use the red this is brighter and i think i love i love this one so with the shapes um i'd ungroup first okay this is just me trying to change colors for you to have a look at what we can do okay so you know i can use the red okay the wine or i can use you know any of these colors because they all correspond and they all um you know match well then what i'm going to do next is i can add my channel name to the top over here so maybe my channel name is uh let's see get kicking um lt let's say this was the name of my channel okay so i'm just positioning here okay and uh, reduce the size and maybe also to change fonts i can use leaks pattern okay and even with this also use leaks pattern and i can reduce the size and center and reduce this and also position it here okay so then i can just duplicate this bring it here and i can make it you know um let's say your website so my website.com okay and i position it i just center it and i reduce the size i hope you're enjoying it you know so i can maybe put it here instead so that um over here i can put when anyone can expect new tutorials okay or new videos so i can put um you know maybe one of these tubes over there so i go back into element and um, i just close this up because i want the tube okay so recently used i found it there and um, take it to 90 degrees reduce the size and you can put it here but this time around we are sending it to the back okay so i can just put it here and change colors so okay, let me use this color instead so i can just come here and say um no let me rather use this one so that we are staying consistent with font and stuff like that so i'll say new tutorials on a new videos instead new videos i can say every tuesday and maybe friday okay and i can reduce the size and you know center it here so this is pretty much what we can do but with the colors if you're not comfortable with the colors you can always you know add change colors and adjust just to get what you're looking for okay so you can see we've created a very simple but cool um how do you call it 
cool youtube cover art and the main thing we can just be doing is to be reducing the size if you try it and you see it's still bigger just you know select or and reduce the size so it's able to fit and i'm sure this is one of the best way you can customize your youtube channel so the name is benjamin and thank you so much for watching to the end i really appreciate that i have a lot of fantastic canva videos you'd love okay and i also have free templates on my website www.theafricangeek.net slash freebies get on my free templates start using them and enjoy yourself always remember there's no limit to creativity i'll see you in my next video